Hello, and welcome to the Fragrance Factory. My name is Krista, and today I'll be showing you the vast array of beautiful colognes and perfumes that we have to offer here. I'll show you some for female, and then we'll look at the men's side. And at the end, if you've got time, I would love to show you some of our in-house scents that we blend here in our laboratory. If you'd like, I can send you a complimentary sample for you to take home and enjoy. But first, let's get into our fragrances. We're going to start with the female. This one is by Armani. It's got beautiful packaging. The name of this perfume is C. You can see that the top almost resembles a smooth stone. In this bottle, comes in 3.4 ounce. You can get it in a roller ball or a gift set complete with body wash and deodorant. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a lovely fragrance with top notes of Italian blackberry and white cedar wood. Now it's balanced by the base of vanilla and patchouli. Would you like to try it? Great. So there are some fragrance blotters right there. Give me one of those blotters, that way we don't get too much on your clothing here. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that this one is so long wearing. This should stay a good eight hours on your skin. So you wanna be careful not to be too generous with it as a little goes a long way. It's nice, right? So we'll set this one to the side. It's really modern, right? That's kind of a different one. Okay, moving on. This one's a bit different from the one we just looked at. This is Amazing Grace. This is a top seller by the brand Philosophy, who is known for innovative products and quite feminine scents and body products. It's simple packaging, but still very feminine. This makes a perfect gift for a nice young lady or someone who doesn't prefer a whole lot of strong scent. This is perfect. Would you like to try it? Great. Well, let's grab one of those blotters there. So the notes are musk and lily of the valley. And this perfectly crisp and clean scent kind of denotes the feeling of stepping out of the shower, but also with a little bit of flirtation in there. It comes in many different sizes. Comes in a kit with a two ounce spray, a whipped body cream, or an oil mist. Packaging is streamlined. Everything looks pretty much the same. So, this is perfect for daily wear. Something that's not too much and really easy to wear on the daily. I'll set it to the side and we'll keep it moving. This is a sweet, fruity scent with just a touch of floral. So this one is called Candy Yum Yum, and it's made by MAC Cosmetics, as you can see here. So MAC features a retro matte lipstick shade that is very iconic by the same name. You can purchase these two as a set, the lipstick and the perfume, or you can buy it just as you see it here. Now, this one's got some vanilla bean in it, which is quite nice. It's also got guava and cotton candy. It comes in three sizes other than the set. And let's spray a little for you. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You see what I mean by how oh, it's a little bit uh, feminine and sweet, but it's still a grown up girl's fragrance. Now, the lipstick is quite similar, very vibrant pink, although I would venture to say that the lipstick is a bit more electric, maybe a little uh, fluorescent. And this bottle top is a little darker pink, so. All right, this next one has been a big seller here recently. This is called Mont Paris by YSL. First of all, we have to speak about the beautiful packaging here. So, it is accentuated with this gorgeous little bow featuring polka dots. But also, it's a quite delightful bottle, which is laser cut in a geometric pattern. And the scent itself is quite extraordinary. It's fresh and Im intimate. And it has notes of white magnolia, ginger, and cashmere. Now you can purchase this in the whipped body butter as well, which is very delightful. And the body butter alone is enough fragrance to last you through the day. So if you'd like to purchase something a little lighter, but still get the same scent that you're getting here, I would recommend that you definitely go with the whipped body butter. Okay, and of course it's got a nice cute little top. So this is perfect for displaying on a shelf. That's a quite decorative item. This is a nice one to leave out um, on your vanity or on your bathroom cabinet, something like that. Okay, so I've got another one to show you. This one is Tender Romance. So, I'm not sure if you are old enough to remember the original True Romance from the 90s, which was evocative of youth and very soft, and it was quite popular at the time, with very similar packaging to this one, but maybe with a pink top. So this is a modern version of that classic. It's called Tender Romance. And according to Ralph Lauren himself, Tender Romance, and I quote, evokes the sweetness and innocence of falling in love for the first time. Now this one is very intimate and features notes of white magnolia, ginger, and cashmere. It also has a whipped body souffle, which is delightful. You can purchase this in a roller ball, which fits nicely in a handbag. Would you like to try this one? Okay. Let's grab a blotter. Try it here. This one carries a bit of a nostalgic feel for me because I too wore the true romance during the 90s when I was just a youngster, of course. <laughs> and it's very reminiscent of that one, but at the same time, it brings something extra and it's a little more 2017. Okay. All right, now. For something completely on the opposite end of the spectrum. This is Black Opium. Now take a look for a second and let's just take in this beautiful packaging. You can see the sparkles and how it glistens a bit. It's quite uh, different. This is alluring and seductive. With the packaging as bold and daring as this one, you know, then you're going to get a fragrance that is not for every woman. So, you may also remember the original opium, which is a bestseller to this day. 
So this fragrance is base notes of vanilla, patchouli, and cedarwood. The top notes are pink pepper and orange blossom. It's a pretty top. A nice display bottle, nice piece of artwork for you to display. So let's try it out here. Well, you can try this one on your skin if you'd rather instead of using the blotter. Okay. Mm hmm. You think this one suits you? Let's see. Mm -hmm. You know how to pick a fragrance because that is just extraordinary. But I've still got one more to show you that I think now that I know your personal fragrance profile and kind of what notes you like, I really want to make a recommendation to you. This one is by Givenchy and it is called Black Dahlia or Dahlia Noir and it's got it imprinted here on the packaging. So Dahlia Noir is for the very confident woman, maybe someone who's not afraid of much <laughs> and surely a femme fatale scent. It's reminiscent of a more nostalgic retro fragrance as the 40s or 50s and I definitely rec recommend that you try this one even though I know you've got the other one on your skin I think you should at least take home a sample size or a blotter of this one because it's quite different and it's got the powdery softness of a bouquet of roses iris and mimosa and the bewitching potency of patchouli and tonka bean. So all of that together is quite beautiful. You can also get a hint of some sandalwood, rose, and patchouli. The patchouli kind of ties it together, but after you spritz a bit on your skin and let it dry down a little, you will also get mandarin and pink pepper. The citrus and the woodsy tones balance each other nicely and they give you a nice dried down long wearing beautiful fragrance. Very well rounded and full bodied. Now this particular fragrance is on special today in that it comes with complimentary gift wrapped here in house and we will be running that special through the end of the summer so if you don't take this home today and you try the blotter at home and you'd like to return and get that complimentary gift wrap which is quite beautiful they do an excellent job here then I would suggest that you consider that for a fragrance as unique as this. Okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no denying that that is a beautiful scent. Okay, so let's move on and I'll show you some of the men's colognes that we have here. I'm gonna begin with my personal favorite. Uh, this one is also a great customer favorite and you can tell that our sample has been worn down quite a bit. That is because our customers go gaga for this one. This is Burberry Touch for men. Now already you can see this elegant bottle and this beautiful packaging. Features a wood topper here which is made of real wood. Not only is the packaging beautiful, but this is an intoxicating scent. It's got oak moss and violet blended with white pepper. This gives a masculine yet beautiful essence. 
And something you might not know is that this is ranked the personal favorite men's cologne of 2016. Mm hmm So, you already know that so many others have voted it a favorite, and so it makes an excellent gift for someone who maybe you're not sure of their scent profile, or maybe it's a secret Santa, that kind of thing. This makes a perfect gift for that. Would you like to try a bit? <laughs> Great. Alright, let you get it. Mm-hmm. It's addictive, right? So this is only available in this current size, which is the 3.3 ounce. Due to its popularity, it sells through pretty quickly. So if you were considering making a purchase today, I may ask you to consider this one as supplies are limited at the moment. Burberry Touch. Okay. Keeping it moving along. I've got a gift set for you. Now this one is a classic and you may have already smelled this scent, have you? Aqua di Gio? Well, you should today, definitely. And today, we'll be running a special. If you purchase the 3.4 ounce, it comes with the complimentary deodorant stick. Now, this deodorant stick in and of itself is a marvelous find because it not only contains an antiperspirant, but it's also providing you scent that is long lasting throughout the day. So if you've got a little bit of stress at work or maybe you forgot your deodorant running in from the gym. This is a great standby extra product to have in your desk or your gym locker. Okay, and let's talk about the fragrance itself. So, Aqua Di Gio is a bestseller and it's very long wearing. So that you get a nice look at it while I tell you a little bit more about it. Okay. So, the base notes of this beautiful fragrance are cedar and white musk. The top notes are jasmine and rosemary. The blend of the two are beautifully balanced so that you end up with a beachy, almost summery scent. It's very lightweight, easy to wear every day, and recommended to be your number one daily wear cologne. It's got pretty packaging with this frosted glass. And as I mentioned before, if you act now, you will not only get this 3.4 ounce, but the complimentary deodorant stick as well. This is sure to get you many compliments with its fresh aquatic scent. So, I call this next one a lady catcher, or a man catcher. <laughs> this is by YSL, you can see the insignia here, and this is La Nuit de l'Homme. So already we've got to talk about this packaging, because this is some intriguing, beautiful packaging here. The bottle itself is a gradient ombre, beautiful glass cylinder with an octagonal, beautiful top here. So it's for the man who doesn't mind standing out. And it's got cardamom, cedarwood, and many other different beautiful notes in it. It's very sophisticated. Now this one is not much of a daily wear. It's more for an evening out or for a special occasion. Maybe a night on the town, that kind of thing. Now it's available in a set with this size you see here, the body wash, and a travel size as well. 
Now, this is the 3.3 ounce, so that will do you just fine on its own. But if you like to layer scent, then I would really recommend that you go ahead with the set, which will serve you well. So, what do you think? Want to try it? I think you should. So, let's check it out. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so you should probably let it soak into the blotter for a moment or waft it in the air a bit and then try it again because this is a fragrance that will dry down and really uh, change a little bit. So let it sit there or let it sit on bare skin and it will dry down to a beautiful scent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a little word of advice there. Okay, now we're going from something really intense and bold to something a bit more classic and great for your daily cologne. So, it's very woody, it's very masculine, but yet still clean and fresh. And this is Ralph Lauren's Polo Blue. So you may have heard of the female's polo. This is quite different, as you can imagine. So this one has notes of basil, sage, washed suede, and sheer musk. Those fragrances blend together to make what is probably the best daily wear that you're going to find. It's a little bit intriguing at first, enough to draw you in. But then it finishes with a nice aquatic, very breezy, beautiful scent. So, very traditional, classic packaging. Now, this is the largest size that we carry. It's very invigorating and fresh. It's got notes of lemon, olive blossom. And finally, I've got Armani Code. Really pretty bottle. I love the navy top with the insignia. I love this blue crystal, almost summery packaging, although this can definitely be worn throughout the year. It's got top notes of lemon and sage, which is quite surprising until you discover those bottom notes, which are leather and olive blossom. So that kind of balances it out for you. So this is frequently purchased by significant others for the special man in their life. Only because this is definitely the kind of thing you want your significant other to smell like. <laughs> I know I do. And we have a hard time keeping this in stock. At the moment it comes in several sizes, but I definitely wouldn't take that for granted because at any moment, um, we could be out of stock, okay? So it is kind of light and easy to wear, so we sell far more of it in the summer, but make no mistake, you can wear this one all throughout the year, okay? Great. Would you like to try it? Okay. Let's do it. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can smell it. It's kind of fresh. So you've got to let it dry for a moment to really get some of that more bold leather scent. And that's what's going to carry it through and keep it a little bit more long wearing for you. Okay? So I hope you have enjoyed our little stroll through these colognes today. And now, if you've got a moment or two, I'd like to show you some of our special blends that we create here. Uh, they, for replicas of other scents, um, we like to mix and match and we like to invent things in our laboratory. And for this, you can benefit because we like to send them as complimentary samples for you with your purchase. So would you like to look at some? Great, I'll prepare them for you here. Okay. So I've got one male blend to share with you as well as three 
female blends that I'd like you to see. This first one, this is called Jazz Club, and I'm going to read to you what it says on the label. Time and period, Brooklyn, 2013, so the way you can get the setting in your mind, right? The fragrance description says, a heady cocktail and cigar. Style description, male fragrance. Ooh, just smelling the tip alone is like, wow. Mm hmm you've got to try it, absolutely. Here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh, can you smell that cigar in there? I can. Oh my gosh. Jazz club, okay. Let's remember that one, okay? It's one of your favorites. Okay. So, you can see that our samples are quite generous. Uh, this should last you a good long while. I believe these are one ounce samples, but I could be wrong about that. At any rate, it's a good amount for you to wear long enough to know if you take a liking to the fragrance. Okay. Now, let's start with our first female sample. This one's called Lazy Sunday Morning. Okay, and the setting is Florence, 2003. The description is soft skin and bed linen, and of course it's for females. Oh, now this is my personal favorite. I don't know how that laboratory does it. They continue to make some of the best scents out there. Even though these are replicas, they are still so nice and so expensive smelling. Okay, so now, Lipstick On is the name of this next one. Wow. Chicago, 1952. The description is Night Blush and Rice Powder. Of course, it's a female fragrance. Is that one not for you? Okay. We mustn't sample every single one. It might give you a headache, actually. We'll just set that one to the side and keep moving. And finally, Something a little more floral. This one is called Promenade in the Gardens. The setting is Oxfordshire. Not sure if I said that right. 1986. Description is Shaded and Flowered Paths. Okay. Very floral. Kind of reminds me a bit of Estee Lauder's. Uh, Oh, the most popular one, but yeah, it's really nice. Oh, youth do. That's what it's called. It's a bit youth do, which is what a lot of our grandmothers wore, mine included. But let's give you a bit of a sample of it so you can make your own assumptions. Yes, oh my goodness. Now, Yeah, I think we have a winner, right? Okay. Well, I would be more than happy to send you with this promenade in the gardens in your bag as a complimentary gift from our labs to you uh, with your purchase today. And also, if you choose, let's see what we have chosen for you. Okay, so you're going to get the complimentary gift wrap as well. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you'll be taking home that whipped body souffle. Excellent choice. So please don't hesitate to call us or to contact me personally. And I've left my card in your bag. And so anytime that you have any questions or if you'd like to come in and sample some other scents, maybe you'd like to take a 
tour of our laboratory and see how everything works around here, you are more than welcome. But thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see you on your next visit. Bye-bye.